Hey guys, what's up? It's Liberates, and today I'm going to be doing a quick little Cinema 4D tutorial on how to make an abstract cube like you just saw. <clears throat> so first of all, let's start off by... Actually, first of all, let's start off... Yeah, no, okay. So let's open up Cinema 4D, and um, once it's open and loaded, you're going to come down here to the Objects button, the Objects menu, which is this 3-dimensional blue square, 3 dimensional, and you're going to come down and you're going to make a sphere, which is right here. Just click on that and drag it up a little bit and you can toy with the radius make whatever you want I think I'll just keep it at a hundred then come down to segments and you're gonna wanna change that to 40 or you know I don't think you have to change it to 40 like just the more get too don't get too much we don't get not enough because I'll show you why in a minute okay so now once you have your segments and your radius all selected you're gonna make sure the sphere is selected and hit C to make it editable or you can right click on the object and come down to make editable or C and then after you uh, then select the sphere and come down here to this little like four two by two grid with um, the upper left uh, corner is orange and this is the selection tool then you're gonna come up to selection and go down to loop selection right there now as you can see it selects some loops but don't select anything now go to selection um, where is it select all right there and then it will all turn orangey pretty sexy color and then you're just gonna right click anywhere on the sphere and come down to extrude right here and then you're gonna come to the um, preserve groups and uncheck that <clears throat> and then make the offset around anywhere you want like just whatever you suits your opinion most um, I like to do it around 30 to 40 because it's I'll show you why look if it's 90 it looks a little too much you can see it coming out and some people like that but I don't personally like that so I'm gonna turn it down to 35 and then come to the variation and just experiment with that. Uh, 90 looks a little too much, so I'm just going to change this to like 45. 45 looks pretty nice. And then there's lots of stuff you can do from here. Um, you can come down here, double click, add a material. Just make it, I'll make it a nice purplish color, just like this. And um, I think I'm going to be doing a speed edit soon in um, Cinema 4D just because I've gotten some positive feedback for those. So. That's pretty cool. I think I might do one because I haven't done one in a while. And so yeah, that's basically the tutorial. You can do you can add a plane and give it a reflection. You could put this into a um a video using the buju thing. Um uh yeah, you can do a lot of things like like I did in that my newest um montage. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And yeah, this was pretty short, so hope you learned good stuff.